Gerbigly. Hey there, it's Gerbigly with another video for lag.com. This is a game called Switch Magic, and apparently in this, it's just a puzzle platformer where we have to use our magic to switch places with a platform that will allow us to get across different obstacles. So let's go ahead, let's get started, see how this game plays. Okay, it looks like we have a large number of levels, 20 in fact, so we'll try to get through as many of these as we can. Use left or right arrow to move, okay. Use up arrow or W to jump, okay. We have a little orb following us around. I like that we're just like this cute little wizard guy. All right, touch the big crystal to go to the next level. I like that doot doot doot, like victory noise. And I like that we go hmm when we jump as well. What's this, big block? Oh, okay, we have to probably push this. Push this over here to get to big crystal. It's slow going, but that's okay. We made it, nice and simple. So it's just teaching us the basics of the gameplay. Ooh, spikes. And now we have another level done. That was the quickest one yet, and that one had spikes in it. Okay, more spikes. Easy peasy. Little pushable block. Nice and easy. And then, boom. All right, we're speed running this. Maybe we will get through all 20. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we have a big platform that's moving. Big block. I have a feeling we have to push it this way. Get it out of the way here. Ah, yes. This will allow us to jump up to that big crystal and win the level. Oh. Oh, we can't. Oh, I see what we have to do. Okay. So we have to jump up onto the platform that's moving again. Then I think we have to jump over to the st yeah starting platform. Yeah. All right. Nice and easy. So again, some puzzle elements to the platformer. I like it a lot. Use J or space to cast your magic ball. Hit the blue crate to switch places with it. This is what I was talking about. So you use your ball. Oh my God. I love how it flies. It allows you to, and it comes back to you like a boomerang. Allows you to switch places with things to get past obstacles. So pretty cool. Neat little mechanic. I like that. Tap the crate to focus your magic. Wait, what? Tap it? What does tap it mean? To focus your magic? I'm not sure what that means. Is this going to kill me? If I, uh... Oh, wow. Okay, wait. Oh, I can move the crate across. I see what it means. I got to get better aim, though. Oh, it was right above it. Come on. There we go. So we switch places with the crate so we can pull it over here. I see what it means. Okay, so you have to just keep switching places with the crate and then use it to your advantage to jump up to a higher place. I like that. That's cool. All right, so we put the crate here. It will allow us to jump up over here. And then can we make this jump? Oh, no, it doesn't matter because I fell off the side like a dingus. All right, so bring it over here as far as it will go. Oh, yeah. And then, oh, we almost made it. Almost made it. Okay, maybe I'm doing this wrong then. Maybe for this one, we have to... Hmm. Maybe we have to shoot the ball. Do we shoot the ball? When it's closer to the edge? I'm not sure here. <laughs> this one's tough. Okay. Huh! No, <laughs> I didn't get to do it. I was trying to switch it uh, mid-jump. See if it would work that way. Oh, you know what? Since the ball is travel time. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I started moving over the spikes. By the time I it hit the, uh, the box, it uh, had me moving over the spikes a little. So shoot it, jump. And then, yeah, now it's on the midway point. Okay, cool. Cool little mechanic. Takes a little bit of uh, skilled practice, and it allows you to uh, make... I like that you respawn right away. It's pretty quick with the respawns. But it allows you to uh, swap places with the crate. Oops, messed that one up. Um, trial and error is very important, but it's like a, a learned thing here. I like that a lot. It's cool. So shoot it, jump. Yeah, dropped it way in the middle there. It's all about timing. It's all about timing. I like that a lot. This game is awesome. Very, very cool. All right, level 9 done to the halfway point at level 10 here. Really getting the hang of it. Oh, my gosh. It's it's actually really fun. Okay, so... Sw oh, missed it. Okay, so maybe what we want to do is... Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. That's okay. Oh. Okay, I don't think that moved it enough, but maybe it did to... Oh, I was trying to get to that last. I think we had the right idea. 
I think that what we need to do is move it this way to the edge and then jump immediately. Yeah, now we have plenty of space to jump to this side. Be careful. Oh, no, I forgot that this <laughs> the crate was going to be right there, though. Oh, darn it. Okay, so maybe don't move the crate as far into the spikes as where, where I was doing it. Yeah, maybe like right there and oh, oh boy, that was close. Oh, wait, but then how do I get back there? <laughs> Darn it, I really... I didn't think this one through very well. Maybe I do a little bit of a... A hot skipper Rooney. Oh, now it's way in the wall there. Oh, darn. Okay. Well, uh... Maybe... Oh, no, I jumped off the side. Oh, I think that would have been, like, close to the perfect placement of the crate, though. So this is hard. This has actually gotten very difficult, but like in an awesome, fun way. So maybe do it right on the edge there and then shoot it. Yep, like that. Get us all the way over here. Maybe I'm overcomplicating it. I have no idea. Oh, no, it put me right into the spikes. I feel like I might be overcomplicating it a little bit. Maybe I got to figure this out a different way. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay. It's a bummer we can't pull the crate up here, because I feel like if we could pull the crate up here, it would allow us to swap it more easily. Maybe that's... A oh, my gosh. I keep falling off without jumping. It's hard. It's hard. It's a hard game. But I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Uh-oh. Might have moved the crate too much. But I guess this is the risk we'll take. Ooh, the ball hadn't hit it yet. Oh, I was moving forward without thinking. Oh, maybe level 10 is my the bane of my existence already. Maybe this is the one that gets me. I'm falling off the edge. I'm getting jumpy is what it is. It's it's me getting too nervous here for my own good. Okay, boom. Because I think it warps you to the center of the crate. Yeah, warps you to the center of the crate each time. So as long as we have like a pixel or two in between, we should be able to... No! Oh, darn. Oh, crap. Well, this one is is a stumper. This one's really tough. This one is actually, like, hard to figure out, but I'm enjoying it a lot so far. I am. I just wish that I could make that jump without the crate, but I clearly need the crate. So there we go. Dro dropped it about halfway. Oh, there we go. So that's all it takes. I was overcomplicating it a little bit, but that's a level 10 conquered halfway through. Ah, I see. So we need this button press to activate the crystal goal. So we have to drop the crate on it. Switch places with the crate. All right, level 11 done. Is there a crate over here? I'm just not seeing it. Oh, boy. What do we do here? Uh, leap of faith. Oh, there's stuff down there. Okay. It was a, a leap of faith that uh, at least granted me the info I was looking for. Some good stuff there. <laughs> okay. So I think what we want to do is move this as far away as we can. Jump. Oh. Oh, no. I think we needed that. <laughs> I dropped it into the pit. I thought I had more time to jump. It's my own fault. The hubris that I had within. Okay, so what we want to do is, I guess, move the crate this way. And then, again, maybe try to... Oh, the jumping is going to drop it into the pit each time, though. Maybe move it over to the edge. Maybe just try to... Oh. <laughs> Maybe just move it over to the edge. All right. I only got a couple more attempts in me. Move it over to the edge. And then we can't hit it from here is the problem. I wish there was a way to direct the ball downwards more or something like that. So this is where I think I might stay stumped. Oh, <laughs> especially when I'm doing stuff like that. Holy cow. I wish there was a way to maybe shoot the ball downwards or something, but... Obviously, that would make the game a little bit too easy. Oh. <laughs> now, can it hit? Can the ball hit it on the way back? That's the last the last thing I want to know is, is we shoot it like that. And then, nope. The ball passes right through it on the way back. So, unfortunately, a good idea that didn't pan out for me. Um, I guess that's it. Level 12 is where I get stumped. So, that means that some of you out there are going to have to try this out. Try to surpass my brain, which shouldn't be too hard. I mean, this isn't even, this is barely halfway through the game. So definitely, definitely, definitely put your brains to the test. 
Very challenging puzzle platformer, a lot of cool mechanics at play. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me fail over and over again. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.